farther or freaking necessary. And all the feminists out there and all the single mothers that said, I could do it all by myself. Bullshit. Okay, boys, today's video is going to be about... Uh, I think that video is not even for the boys. It's for the, it's for the women out there. I mean, women today are promiscuous like they've never been before. That's crazy. They fucking guys left and right. They go cock after cock after cock after cock after cock. And they don't realize that in the future, that thing is going to hurt them. Because they don't understand male nature. As a man, what we want as a man. In a woman, we want, we want her to be young and we want, we want purity. Bonfire. We want her to be pure. She didn't fuck 150 guys. Or even 25, even 20 guys is too much. Because as a man, when you provide for your family, you want to be sure that that kid is yours. And a woman that go cock after cock after cock after cock, you cannot trust her. You're going to have a little fight with her. She's going to play the game to go fuck another guy. She's going to have a friend guy as the backup guy if thing doesn't go well for you. And all the women out there that go cock after cock after cock after cock, you don't realize that you're hurting yourself. Because most high-value guys, the guys with money, the guys who real who is a real man don't behave like a blue pill guys. The guys who understand female nature who hates more and more and more because there's a lot of men right now that are doing content like I do and I encourage those kind of content. I encourage that. And the woman out there, you don't understand how men think and you're hurting yourself. Because guys like me who understand a woman thing, who have a good amount of money, we don't want to help you. We might use you for sex. We're going to realize who you really are. And in her head, we're not going to say nothing about it. We're not going to say nothing about it. Because we, we, we just want to ban you. Man, in her head, you know what we're going to say? She's not girlfriend material. She's not wife material. There's about... I don't know, 75 cut that go into her mouth. 35 cut that go inside her vagina. She is a sperm receptacle. That's what we're going to say in her head. And we're going to use you for sex. Guys like me who understand how women think, what they do, we're going to look at you and in her head, we're going to use you for sex. You're just good for sex. And we're not going to wife you off, living with you, or not even want you for a girlfriend. We're not going to say nothing and play her game. Keep lying. Say all kind of stupid shit that you want to hear, but deep down in her head, we're not going to say nothing. We just want to have sex with you. Because we're not going to lie. There's some women, 35... They still look good. But they have go cock after cock after cock. And they down, they down in her head. Guys like me. And there's more and more guys like me. Because guys start to wake him up. Wake wake up. I could see it. I could see it. How things are changing. Finally. Why? Because the guy start to stu stood up for herself. The feminists I go way too far. And we wake up. More and more. And I freaking love it. So we're going to go to a video, all the women out there, that go cock after cock after cock. You hurting yourself. And there's a woman who's going to explain you why. So let's listen to that video. Posting a bikini picture compared to me I just saw, being right. on a strip pole dancing and going crazy and being on ceilings, you know, like that. I was crazy party lifestyle promoter. I was doing everything nightlife. I was making my money. And at the end of the day, it gets to a point where it's like 
It's all fun and games, yeah. but look where I'm at right now. No, I, I had a child agree with out of you. wedlock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have a man that is secure by my side right now with my child. And as I'm raising my child, I'm seeing how badly. At the end of the day, it's important to have a man in your life. It's really important because of the simple fact that I'm just. I want to stop that right freaking now. Right freaking now. All the freaking feminists out there that, that said that father or not necessary. Father or freaking necessary. Father or freaking necessary. A mother is very, very important. From the age of when the child is born till 10, 11 years old. A mother is necessary till that age. Maybe a little bit more than a father. You know where the father need to be there? When the, when the kid reach around 10 years old. 10 till 35 years old. Especially if it's a guy. And also if it's a woman. A, a, a father keep the girls out of the freaking stripper pole. To be a freaking hoe. This is the job of a father. And a father... Keep the son out of jail. Show him some freaking value. Show him discipline. Go to work. Men and women are not the freaking same. A woman, a single mother, cannot do the job of a freaking man. You cannot. End of story. A man is going to bring discipline to the life of a child. A man is going to say, look. Control your freaking emotion. If you're not able to control your freaking emotion, you end up fighting everybody because you're a little bitch. You're going to end up in freaking jail. A man's going to say to his son, you need to earn money. Don't go in a freaking store and steal. You need to earn money. You need to find a good job. Earning money, it's hard. It's difficult. Suck it up. Go do the work. Don't be a freaking pussy. As a man, the father is to teach that that. To teach that to his son. To be a real freaking man. Don't let your freaking emotion control you. As soon as you're mad, as soon as you heard a little freaking thing that hurts your feeling, now you want to fight. And those fight bring you in trouble. You end up in freaking jail. Because you're a little bitch, not able to control your freaking emotion. Father or freaking necessary. And all the feminists out there, and all the single mothers that said, I could do it all by myself. Bullshit. The single mother out there, who can barely make ends meet, who work all the time. Who's going to raise that chin? Who's going to raise that kid? You're not there. You're working your ass off to bring money to pay the rent and the food. You're not freaking there. This is why a couple is so freaking important. And when you understand female nature, that 80% of the women initiate divorce, you know who suffer? The kid freaking suffer. The kid suffer. Not you. You, you know you're going to cash in because you marry a high-value guy. Whatever the reason. But the kid suffer. Father or freaking necessary. And all the single mother out there that dumped the husband because they had the feeling hurt, all that freaking bullshit, the kids suffer. This is selfish what you're doing. Father or freaking necessary. And all the women out there that dumped the, the boyfriend because they're a little bit emotional, all that bullshit, and you don't understand how men think, and you don't understand that you are the main Chicks, maybe he cheat on you. It's not the end of the world. If that guy cheat on you, you are the main chick. This is all kind of shit that women don't freaking understand. You, the women out there need to understand how men think. This is so important that women understand also male nature. Men and women were not the same. We're not thinking the same. And we're never going to think the same. And all the single mother or there that raised their son to behave like woman. 
those those guys are fucked up in the head. Look, all the 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 guys all there, out of nowhere, they want to be, they want to be woman. You see how fucked up that is? Because they've been raised by fucking single mother. That's the reason why. Women are fucked up society right now. This is terrible. And I risk to be canceled right now only because I said the freaking truth. All the single mother who raised her son, and her son of no what, you want to be woman. You see how fucked up that is? This is freaking fucked up. A strong family, a strong society is when a couple stay together. The woman knows his role and the father as a man knows his role. And it's not the same. The two roles are totally different. Totally freaking different. A father is necessary. So I'm going to keep going that thing. And look, look at that woman. That woman, she's freaking suffering right now. She's suffering. She's crying. So let, let's keep going here. Seeing my son raised without a son, like a father, it's, it, it hurts. It really does. And you know what? I'm happy for you because it's like when you have that situation, you realize that it's like, this is my man. I'm going to worship him. And this is the family I'm going to create. When I'm a grandma and I have the whole entire room filled with my grandchildren, that is your real value. You're posting a bikini picture compared to me. I just so there you go, guys. Right now, almost nobody listened to my freaking video, but the single mother out there, and even the young, the young woman who want to build a family, who's been brainwashed by feminists, this is not the way to go. This is not the freaking way to go, to raise your child by yourself. And if you dump your husband because you didn't choose the right man, it's your fault. And most men that you're gonna want to be with are not gonna want, are not gonna want you because you are a single mother. And the girls are there, you need to freaking wake up. And a man, as soon as you find out that a woman has go to 35, 50, 100 cut, we don't want you. You're hurting yourself. You're going to end up with a guy that you don't want to be with because that's all you could have. And you're going to shit on him. You're not going to respect him. And your life's going to be a freaking living hell. For both of you, the man and the woman, the feminists have fucked up the whole world. The North America, not the whole world, North America, U.S. and Canada. A family is super strong when a woman knows his freaking roles and a man understands his freaking role. And all the freaking pussyfied man who's been raised by single mother go on YouTube and understand what a real man is. Because a woman didn't teach you how to be a man if you've been raised by a single woman. I'm going to fucking repeat that again. A woman didn't raise you to be a man. A woman didn't raise you to behave like a man. A woman didn't raise you to think like a man. This is bullshit. And I'm not saying that it's your fault. I'm just saying, keep digging to the content like I do. Understand what is it to be a real man and wake up. And all the feminist bullshit out there that have fucked up society, boys, the blue pill guys, this is bullshit. Woman behaving, a man behaving like a woman, the society is going down the drain. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. So look, that video is so freaking important. I want to listen to that again. And I don't want to make that video half an hour. I'm already 14 minutes in. 14 minutes in. So let's listen to that again. You're posting a bikini picture compared to me I just saw, being right. on a strip pole dancing and going crazy and being on ceilings, you know, like that. I was crazy party lifestyle promoter. I was doing everything nightlife. I was making my money. And at the end of the day, it gets to a point where it's like, 
It's all fun and games, yeah. but look where I'm at right now. No, I, I had a child agree with out you. of wedlock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. I have a child out of wedlock, and look at the situation right now. The consequence of her freaking behavior. Have a man that is secure by my side right now with my child, and as I'm raising my child, I'm seeing how badly. At the end of, of the I'm raising my child. I see how badly I'm doing my job. I'm not doing my job right to raising my child. I suck at it. That's what she said. This is what she realized. Today, it's important to have a man in your life. It's really important because of the simple fact that. It's important to have a man in your life. Man and woman are not the freaking same. Just seeing my son raised without a son, like a father, it's, it, it hurts. It really does. And you know what? I'm happy for you because it's like when you have that situation, you realize that it's like, this is my man. I'm going to worship him. And this is the family I'm going to create. When I'm a grandma and I have the whole entire room filled with my grandchildren, that is your real value. Your post. As a woman, you know what your job is? Is to take care of your family. That's your job as a woman. And you want to end up like her? And there's a lot of women like her. Most women are like her. Single mother. I want the, the woman out there to realize it. The feminists have fucked up the whole freaking thing. I want to be a strong woman and be and blah, blah, blah. This is the result. The child that you're raising, another girl behave like a real man. That woman, that little girl that you raised, she's gonna end up to be a freaking hoe. I mean, this is this is terrible what's going on right now, and I want the freaking woman out there to wake up. So okay, fuck more, more than fifteen minutes. I, I'm yapping too much. You know what? I could keep yapping for another hour and a half about that subject. And don't stop. Don't freaking stop. So I'm going to leave it at that. And guys, we see you on the next one again. Thanks for watching.